All right, so I'm setting up my truck and I realized there's a few videos on YouTube about putting a microwave in a Freightliner. And several of them suggest to put the smallest microwave you can um, in here. Well, for some of us that doesn't work, for some of us that does. For me, I need a bigger one. And specifically, I use a Galance uh, microwave that's an air fryer and uh, like a toaster oven and a bunch of things all in one. I actually put a link below for um, a buddy of mine, uh, another YouTuber, who uh, who did a, a review on his. And uh, anyways, so first thing you're going to want to do, there's going to be a buckle, all right? This buckle is going to start out probably right here in the middle. If you get a used truck, then it could be anywhere. But the point is, most people think about putting a microwave in such a place that you have to worry about clearance right here. Well that doesn't matter because if you adjust the strap to where there's a hole here there's a hole here the hole right here and that's what the hole is for i mean it's probably for like air circulation too but it works out that it also is handy for the buckle so making sure that the buckle gets lined up to the left of the microwave instead of on top where you're having to fit your hand here but you're gonna make sure you want to make sure you plug in the microwave first, of course. But make sure you do it in between the two strap pieces here. It's too dark in here; you can't see it. Trust me. You got a top and a bottom, and you got to put the microwave in between there. Let's see. Lift this up. And be sure you keep the strap flat as you can if it twists up it makes for a painful readjustment you're going to want to check inside here make sure that you didn't push the strap all the way back and i didn't i feel it in the middle of course you can see it here in the middle and then you just step over to the side here you just work it work it until you get it as tight as you can take that buckle and you flip it down and you'll see once you get that buckle tight like i just did it's in there i mean it's so t it is it's, it ain't going anywhere i got clearance here so i haven't gotten the stuff out of it it's not going anywhere so i know it's a little scatterbrain but it was the only time i was going to be able to do it because i know once i did it i won't do it again so there you have it until next time drive on driver Y'all stay safe, baby.